Nature is a wonder. But it is so much more than wonderful. It is essential to all that we value in life. Nature is our life support system. It is the source and sustainer of the air we breathe, the food we eat, the energy we use. And the world of business and finance is entirely dependent upon it. Resilience is bolstered by biodiversity. Over a million species will go into extinction within this century. Business as usual is no longer an option. Without nature, we have nothing. The natural system is our most important and our most valuable asset class, yet we don't assign a value to it. We take its services and rely on it for free. We don't pay for those services, and we don't invest into it. And this is where the problem lies. Since the Industrial Revolution, the dependable, resilient natural world has been the foundation of a booming global economy. And our prosperity continues to be built at the expense of nature. Our landscapes are degrading. Our oceans depleting. During the space of a single human lifetime, my lifetime, we have changed the planet so much that the benign, stable conditions which underpinned both the growth of our civilizations and the trade and financial systems have ended. A healthy, natural world is essential for the planet's resilience. It is the foundation for all cash flows, all supply chains, and all investment values and nature is essential as we face down the challenge of net zero. Climate and nature are two sides of the same coin. The planet is an integrated system. We have to think about them as one joined up planetary system. The science tells us that there is a real chance that we will hit tipping points soon, creating a future of escalating risks for investors, businesses, economies, even whole societies. The loss of biodiversity has reached unprecedented rate in the history of humankind. It's not just an environmental issue. It is an economic issue. It is a financial issue. It's a developmental issue. We simply can't afford nature to decline any further. Unless we put resilience into our business models and resilience into nature, we will not have business models that will survive. That is very clear, and you can see many examples of where this is happening in real life right now. From manufacturers dependent on water, to food producers and pharmaceutical companies dependent on pollinators, businesses and investors across all sectors are exposed. But the good news is that business and finance can have a central role in building back nature's resilience. Businesses across the world are now appreciating that sustainability is the only viable business plan, not only to mitigate risks, but also to seize upon a new age of opportunity. The cost that we are incurring as a result of destruction of biodiversity is significantly higher than what it would cost us to prevent the issues in the first place. And that makes it such an attractive business opportunity for all of us. And leading companies 
understand that it is just not about risk mitigation, but positioning your company for the future that we all want. That future is one in which business innovates to demand less of our natural world and harnesses the regenerative capacity of nature itself. Whilst the challenges ahead are immense, so are the opportunities. The opportunity to reconfigure business models, to change investment portfolios, to invest in the markets and the companies that are innovating and pioneering. The future, if we choose to go there, is very bright. It's business, finance, society and nature prospering in harmony. But we have to start now. And if we do, nature will recover. Bringing back the resilience and productivity on which we all depend.